everybody, welcome back to Kalismas. My name is Miriam, and today we're gonna to show you how to create some fun and exciting centerpieces for your table, and also Halloween bags for the kitties, how to make them exciting and sweet, but also healthy. And if you have a little corner in your house that you don't know what to do with, and you're gonna be having friends and family come over, why not make that into a little Halloween-y area? I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So let's get started. Now, for the sweet treats, because yes, I do like sweets a lot, let's start with that first. I bought a lot of good name brand candy from the Dollar Tree um, as, let's say, Skittles, you know, Pixie Sticks, a few things like that, some Starburst. I go with things like that just because I like to go with the name brand things before I go with anything I don't know. Now, if I'm going to go with something I don't really have an idea about, but they happen to look really cute and they're going to give those bags just that little bit of Halloween <laughs> excitement, I'll go with these little like Halloween pops here. They're really adorable. The ghosts are cute, the pumpkins. And I like to try out the candies that I get, not only because I like candy a lot, but also because I know that if I like them, then I'm pretty sure, I'm sure the kids will like them too. So I go with like little figurines of like Superman and Batman candies. If I'm gonna go with something that's also I don't know of, but I think the kids will like the little bloody bites. They're very cute. They're like little fake teeth, like little like vampire teeth that come with blood in them. And the blood is actually candy tasting, very like a sour apple. It's very good. And they're very fun. I did try this. <laughs> I did. And I do love these Smarties candy rolls. I used to love them when I was a kid. I still love them. And you really can't get enough of like little bags of sugar like this. So you can go with Whopper and stuff like that. You could also go to Walmart if you're gonna have a bigger amount of children coming to your house or you're gonna have a bigger party. I would say Walmart has a fantastic array of candy, you know, uh, with the fact that the bags are bigger and you can get a, more for your buck. So I would recommend Walmart for candy there. But since I'm gonna have a smaller amount of people, I'm gonna have Dollar Tree candy because they're good. They have name brands, and I love some of the unique things I found, like these lollipops and these little bites. So that's for the sweet. Now, if I want to go ahead and bring in some healthy snacks to the bags, I will either do an apple or an orange. Not a banana, because I just think that I can kind of get squishy inside the bags. I do love oranges. They also give you fantastic vitamin A and fiber. So that's also a plus, <laughs> it's a healthy treat. And it makes it fun for the bags, gives it a little citrus smell, and it gives the parents, you know, the idea that you really put a lot of effort into thinking about those bags. So it's sweet with healthy, you kind of still give that idea of what to do there. Also, I love fruit snacks. Also got these from the Dollar Tree. Not only are they very tasty, they're fun, they're berries. And, you know, they have berry flavors. They also have vitamin C, vitamin A, and E. So that's fantastic. They're gluten-free if you're into that, you know. So also a wonderful treat with the oranges inside the bag. So you give it that healthy and you also give it that sweet. So there you go for your candy bags. It's fun to give that centerpiece a wonderful different look. Sometimes you may not think about using costumes and decorating them for your centerpieces, but I'm going to show you how to do that. This witch hat that I was wearing for the beginning of the video, I'm going to use to make as my centerpiece for my table. So when my friends and family come over, they'll look at that table and think, wow, I never thought about making that witch hat into a little bit of a, you know, showstopper. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. This bottle, this decorative bottle I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use it as a stand for my witch's hat. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate this hat with some leaves going up. So starting from down here, going up, I'm just going to hot glue it going all the way up, you know, to the top of the hat, just giving it that kind of garland look around the hat. Also, I want to add some little bugs, little bugs, or some fun Halloween eyes. I could do that as well. So that's what you could do with this. 
You could also add some, you know, flowers to it as well. You know, I would prefer orange since it has that purple look. So you could bring some orange to the hat and also a ribbon on one side there. Remember that purple ribbon I had put away, you could use it as well. So go ahead and do what you want with your hat. Give it that, you know, splash of creativity that you have and pretty much you have your centerpiece. That's really easy. I love these pictures that I found at the Dollar Tree. It has a normal picture right there and then if you turn to certain sides, you see a skeleton face. You see that. If you're not using a frame in your house, why not take the old frame, paint it black, take this behind there, hot glue it once you take off the edges, and then you're gonna have a really cute, spooky, haunting picture for one of your corners of your room. Your friends will get freaked out by it and it'll give you something to laugh about and also look and think that you gave that little corner that Halloween look. I'll show you after what that looks like. If you want to create some fun candle holders, I would say go to the Dollar Tree and get a wine glass. I love this color because of the fact that it is very kind of black, it's kind of foggy, and flip it over, put the, put, I got a bag of googly eyes, put them inside the, uh, the glasses just like that, making sure that they're looking right at the people. So you could see them just staring at everybody, wondering what's going on. And then these candle holders I also got from the Dollar Tree. I love the flat looking black to this candle holder and the leaf in the front there. It's very beautiful. Once that's lit, it's going to really give your dining room area, your living room area, wherever you want to go ahead and have these little candle holders going to give it a very fun look. So just add the googly eyes inside there. Put as much or as little as you want inside there. Put the little candle holes on top of there and then you light them up and then you have a very spooky and very classy look to your tabletop, to your buffet, to your living room area, wherever you want to put them, even your bedroom. Give your bedroom that spooky look. They really are a great touch. So this is the end product of the hat. I went ahead and used some of those little chains that I have for my zombie. I had a little small thing that was left of it, so I put it around halfway of the hat, hot glued it there, and added some of those leaves, like I told you, from the base of the hat all the way going up. Also added some little berries, some orange berries there that I got from the Dollar Tree that I also had already here in the house. Also some purple roses that I was going to use for the basket. I'm going to use also here because I have a lot of it. So everything's recycling. The little bugs to give it that spooky, creepy look. So that way when the people and the guests are going all around the table, every part of this hat is decorated. So it's fun easy, cheap, because a lot of it came from my house. A lot of things that I already had left over that I just decided to use to make my centerpiece with this hat. It's going to be a fun, exciting centerpiece for any part of your house. So as you can see here, I painted all around the frame. This is an old frame I'm not using, as I told you before, and went ahead and cut the picture to fit the frame, hot glued it back there. You could either hang this up or put it on a table area, one side there, let's just say with those, you know, candle holders we created. And look how beautiful and very elegant that is. Okay friends, there you have it. Our end of Halloween special here at Kalismas. I hope you enjoyed all our ideas we had today. The little table topper, the little Halloween corner idea, and the candy bags. Not only will the parents be so happy thought about their kids' health, but the kids are gonna go crazy for the candy that's inside as well. So you have health and sweets in one bag. How can you resist that? Join us in November where we have more ideas, especially on the budget, and some tasty recipes your friends and family will die for. For Kalismas, I'm Miriam. Have a spooky Halloween. Bye.